Now this question was sent to me by a student and this is an uh, paper and this is a question from 2008 exam paper of maths with calculus at NZQA. So I would uh, like you to pause this video and try to read the whole question and try to do as much as you can. And I'll come back once you have read it. So a good technique is to just write what you what are the results that you can write from the information try to extract the information like what is given what are the information that are given what are the results that you can write and what is that you want to find so try to find a relationship or to go from what is given or what you have to what you want to find hopefully you have read it uh, so I'm not reading this whole thing so the important information is the first inform key information is the man is walking at 0.6 meters per second now that means is a very crucial information what is given is ds by dt is given to be negative 0 0.6 meters per second negative means why it is negative because that distance is getting smaller and smaller that's why you have to put in negative the second information is so uh, uh, what you have to find okay, the second information that you can write from this is L squared if you're using Pythagoras is 1.8 squared plus S squared so L squared is 1.8 is 3.24 plus S squared. So this is one information we might use. Okay, what's the next information? I can say cos theta. So well I can say cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse which is S over L. I may use that. Okay, so what is given? So what is that you want to find? You want to find what's the rate at the rate at which the intensity is changing when L is 2.4. So the question is, what is dI by dt when L is 2.4? So now you have to think how can you use these information to find this? So there is a relation, you've got ds by dt, and you want to find di by dt. So now I can say, well, if I can write, if I can find di by ds, so I can say now this is your, this is where you have to stop and think what you're going to do. So well, I can say di by dt, I can find, if I can find di by ds, and then I multiply it, I already have ds by dt. So if I can find di by ds and multiply by ds by dt, that will give me di by dt. So my next aim is to write this, this in terms of s, because I want to find di by ds. So what is, what is i? So i is 600 cos theta, so let me write like this, 600 times, 600 divided by L squared times cos theta. Now cos theta is S over L, so I is 600 over L squared times S over L. So I, as a function of S, now uh, is still a function of L, yeah? So you want to write this in terms of S. So this is 600 S divided by L cube. So now you have to think what's the relation between S and L? Well, from this function, if you make L the subject, can I write L is square root of S squared plus 3.24. So in place of L, I can replace it by square root of s squared plus 3.24. So this whole thing changes to 
i is equal to 600 s divided by l in place of l i can write square root of s squared plus 3.24 raised to 3. So here I is 600 S over L cube and I replaced L with square root of S squared plus 3.24 and because it is L cube I have to raise it by 3. So now writing L as a function of S I is equal to 600 S times times this is square root or square root means raised to half and if you raise if you do power of power this will become three halves so I hope you should be able to understand this this is s squared plus 3.24 raised to negative three halves so this is i as a function of s so now again you can pause this video and try to differentiate this function in term i with respect to s. So you have to use, you should have tried it this yourself, so di by ds, I always want you to try it yourself, is we are going to apply two rules. One is the product rule because you've got two functions. This is one function and this is the second function. Now the second function is a composite function. So to differentiate the composite function, you have to differentiate using the chain row or using the composite row inside and outside. So first using the product rule, differentiating S, the differentiation of S or dA by ds, d by ds of S is 1 times the second function as it is, which is S squared plus 3.24 raised to negative 3 halves as it is plus the differentiation of the second function so differentiating the inside that will be 2s times the outside so you have to drop this power down so negative 3 halves times the function which is s squared plus or the bracket 3.24 and decrease the power by 1, so negative 3 half, take away 1 is going to be negative 5 half. Okay, so dA by ds is equal to 600 times, simplifying this, this is 1 over s squared plus 3.24 raised to 3 halves. This 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. So this is minus uh, minus okay I've forgotten s there. So times it by s. So the first function. So this is the differentiation of the second function times the first function which is s. So minus 3s squared divided by s squared plus 3.24, 3.24 raised to 5 half. So this is the di by ds in terms of s. So now this whole thing is in terms of s or in s squared. So we have to first find what is di by ds A, when s squared is what what is s squared s squared is when l is 2.4 because you want to find the rate of di by dt when l is 2. Point, l is 2.4 so when l is 2.4 what is s squared so let's go back uh, so if you make okay let me do the working here so if you use this formula if you use this formula, okay, so let me write the working here. So S squared is basically making S squared the subject is L squared minus 1.8 squared. Okay, so S squared 
is 2.4 squared minus 1.8 squared where s squared when l is 2.4 so use the calculator so I worked that out that would be 2.56 so I want 2. Point, so I want s squared and s squared is 2.56 when l is 2.4 so let's go back so when l is 2. Point, when l is 2.4 s squared is 2.56 so let's put L as 2.56 in this. So that will be 600 times 1 divided by 2.56 plus 3.24 raised to 1.5 minus 3 times 2.56 2.56 divided by 2.56 plus 3.24 raised to 2.5 so now you can do this calculation yourself so if you simplify this this answer would be negative 13.9232 up to four decimal places so now I can say well di by dt is di by ds times ds by dt which is negative 13.9232 times negative 0 0.6 and negative and negative is going to be positive so negative 13.9232 times negative 0 0.6 is 8.35 so you can say 8.35 so the unit of uh, intensity or illumination or brightness is lux per seconds so basically what you're saying is when the torch is 2.4 meters from point P the rate at which the brightness or the intensity of the light is increasing is 2.35 lux per seconds.